Listener Production. Hello, Anne Stone with you. Jet skiers helped to rescue a fisherman whose boat had capsized off Barwon Heads in Victoria earlier this morning. The 61-year-old was taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, but sadly his workmate got trapped under the tinny and drowned. Their boat was hit by a wave, and Inspector Kevin Hall from Victoria Police says the area can get very rough. At certain times it can be quite difficult with the waves as you come out of the river mouth. The river mouth itself looks quite calm, but when they get out into the actual ocean, the waves are quite uh, three to four metres high and sometimes even higher, though about three to four metres this morning. And in a second tragedy in Victorian waters today, a scuba diver has been found dead near the Rye Pier on the Mornington Peninsula. Multiple states are facing heatwave conditions this weekend. The mercury soaring in parts of South Australia, Victoria and New South Wales, while Perth has had temps over 40 degrees for the past few days. And there's concerns a new cyclone could be forming in Queensland. The Prime Minister has pledged $1.5 million as part of efforts to improve outcomes for people with advanced breast cancer. It's in tribute to late Victorian MP Peter Murphy, who died aged 50 in December after a battle with the disease. And Anthony Albanese saying her legacy will live on. She didn't waste a day that she was here. She made a difference each and every day. And this announcement will save lives. This announcement will make a difference to generations to come. The U.S. has launched dozens of strikes in Iran and Syria targeting facilities linked to Iran's Revolutionary Guard and other militia groups. It's after a drone attack in Jordan that killed three American soldiers and wounded more than 40. And briefly, new Bureau of Stats data shows the average Aussie home loan is now at a record high of over $624,000. A South Australian woman who was the nation's oldest person has died in Adelaide aged 111. The family of Katerina van der Linden says she passed away peacefully peacefully on January 26. And Hollywood's paying tribute to actor Carl Weathers, who's died aged 76. He was best known for playing Apollo Creed opposite Sylvester Stallone in the first four Rocky films. Australia will be looking to take an unbeatable 2-0 lead in the one-day series against the West Indies in Game 2 tomorrow in Sydney. Last night, the Aussies thrashed the Windies by eight wickets, with paceman Xavier Bartlett claiming four for 17 in his national debut. And the Aussie women are playing South Africa in a one-day today at Adelaide Oval. Heartbreak for the Socceroos. They're out of the Asian Cup after losing 2-1 in extra time to South Korea in the quarterfinals. You know, we gave them probably some, some opportunities from, from set pieces that we didn't need to. And when they've got quality like that with Son, they punished us. And that's Craig Goodwin.